Hi everyone, Muriel here. I wanted to come on and share with you guys the pinwheel bridal bouquet that I made for a family friend that is getting married in February, but her bridal shower is in about two weeks. So I wanted to show you what I made. You've, you've, if you're uh, new to my channel, I've made probably, this is my one, two, three, fourth one that I've made and they get easier. Um, so her bridal party colors or her wedding colors are burgundy and navy blue with some tan and those kind of colors and some greenery. So the best I could come up with was a paper pad that I had uh, by Echo Park called Times and Seasons. And this is just some of the um, colors that it had. And um, I hope that she's pleased. So I just cut the paper, the 12 by 12 sheets into six by sixes and then made the pinwheels using the uh, We Are Memory Keepers pinwheel mach maker, which I am very, very fond of. Um, a very nice pinwheel punch board. That's actually what it's called. Sorry about that. So I also use for the handle, and I'll show you that, this trim, which um, I need more of. Every time I see it, I like to pick it up because it makes a really pretty uh, cover for the handle of the um, bouquet. Kind of see that there. Just cover all those straws up. And then I use for the bottom, so you didn't see it, one of these cream color um rosettes and I use my crocodile to punch a hole in it in order to get this little tassel through which is just something I picked up at um Joann's it's just a it's in the fabric department it probably was a um in the clearance aisle and you kind of put these you've seen them on the tassels on the end of curtains and things like that so again I just uh covered the bottom of it I cut this piece off and I kind of covered it like that hot glued it and then that came through the center and that's all it took to make this so you can kind of look at it here I did use some greenery from um, I don't know Michaels that I've had for a while I use a string of pearls to kind of weave in and out of and you can see on the end of the pinwheels I use some flatback pearls this is a large cream color then there's that champagne color. And then I even had some smaller ones that I use. And they are just on there with a glue dot. And they are pretty secure. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know, about 10, 11 of the pinwheels to make this. And um, really cool. You can see underneath it how all of the um, straws came together. And I use a couple of zip ties up top here to secure them. And even uh, down here, there is a zip tie. But as I go up, I kind of release this zip tie and then I just work this around and it's hot glued. And so pretty, stay, pretty steady. So I make these because when I have gone to showers in the past, they make that traditional bouquet. It's like the, the uh, paper plate, you punch a hole in it and then all the bows from the presents kind of stream through there. And then you end up with this sixth grade looking arts and craft project which is fun but you know if i come to your bridal shower you can expect that i'm going to make you one of these then you can use this to take your pictures with um when you're at your rehearsal you need something in your hand you can use this um even if you wanted to throw something but most brides throw a bouquet. I don't know if they throw theirs, but um, you could also throw this one. So um, it serves, <coughs> excuse me, many purposes and I know she will enjoy it. So I wanted to come on and share this with you guys. Uh, it is Saturday afternoon. I have begun to take my Christmas stuff down. So um, I just made one trip I'm, and I went to the storage and bought back the containers that have my home decor stuff. And I'm going to put that up, put more Christmas stuff in and then take it all away. But I did get a peek at some Valentine stuff that I have in my offsite storage because I do keep Valentine's, Halloween and Christmas stuff off-site. So I will be creeping that back in 
because I'm going to a retreat at the end of January and that's when I begin working on Valentine stuff and be good to get some things started now. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions on this uh, pinwheel bridal bouquet. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you continue to visit and stick around. Um, I do have a playlist and I believe I have um, this uh, and the ones that I've made uh, listed in the playlist, probably bridal bouquets, maybe, or my projects, not sure. Um, so you can go back and see the others that I've made. So thanks again for watching. And until my next video, you guys take care. Bye now.